If you're a budget conscious consumer, you may be noticing that meat and poultry prices seem to be rising at the grocery store and you may be wondering why. While there are some factors that are beyond our control, like the weather that can increase meat and poultry prices, there are other factors that we can control, and that's our nation's policy of burning food for fuel. You may not realize that in the United States, we have a policy that mandates that we blend in biofuels into our gasoline. And the most commonly used biofuel is something called ethanol, and that's typically made from corn. That's why sometimes when you pump your gas, you see, may contain up to 10% ethanol. Today, four out of every 10 rows of corn grown actually produce fuel for cars and not food or feed for people and livestock. And this huge increase in demand for corn to satisfy our ethanol mandate has actually sent corn prices skyrocketing. So what does that mean to you? Well, livestock and poultry producers rely on corn as an important ingredient in feed for their animals. When corn prices rise, livestock and poultry producers produce fewer animals. And when they produce fewer animals, we've got tighter supplies, and that translates into higher prices. I'm a mom of two growing boys, and I know how frustrating it can be when meat and poultry prices are increasing. So the good news is there is something that we can do about it. On our website, you can write to your lawmakers and tell them to curtail our nation's policy of burning food for fuel. We've also got a great brochure called Stretching Your Meat Dollar that gives you very practical tips about how to use some of our more economical cuts of meat and poultry in ways that you might not have considered before. It'll give you all sorts of ideas about how to feed a family without breaking the bank. Rest assured the meat and poultry industry is doing everything we can to curtail our nation's policy of burning corn in our gas tanks because we know it's burning a hole in your wallet.